this, why? What is up guys and welcome to the channel. This is part two of our wide body mold making episode series. We're here with the mold man himself, Mr. Mikey Rolls. Well, I laid it all out so we can quickly recap everything that we've done. Expanded foam, we laid down our first layer of fiberglass, our heavy high build primer, a lot of Bondo, a lot of sanding. And then, so today's task is we're gonna lay down some gel coat. Once we sand that and get it really nice, we are gonna skip a couple steps and we're gonna lay down some vinyl. Probably not the most professional way of doing it, but because we are in a time crunch for SEMA, we're gonna cut a couple corners. So our buddy Luciano over at Momessi gave us a whole bunch of throwaway vinyl and we're gonna start laying that on there so we have a nice smooth glossy surface to start laying our fiberglass. Yeah, we are in a time crunch guys. So before you blast this in the comment section, we know the molds are supposed to be shiny. We know everything's supposed to be blinging, but we don't have the time. I'm ready to lay some parts. I'm ready to lay some parts too. Week four of making some molds. And would you say you had a lot of fun? It was uh, it was a good experience. And because it's a SEMA project, we got to get it done. So we couldn't rely on other people. On a scale of one to 10, what do you think this would be for somebody who wants to do something on their own? Well, skill level is probably a, a six, but patience level is like a 12, 13. <laughs> so if you guys want to get in like a Zen mode, definitely make some molds for yourself. So let's get spraying, get some gel coat down, and then we'll get on to the next step. Andrew and I tried to totally go out there and kill it and spray all of them at the same time. And if you want to learn from my mistake, on our first run, the gel coat dried inside our hopper and didn't come out. I would say do one at a time, spray your gel coat, clean out your gun and start over. It's just like, you're, like a brand new day. You know, there's still some little pits and low areas. We did have to go back through with some Bondo. Once you lay down that thick gel coat and sand it down, then you start seeing a couple of imperfections. So we had to kind of go back around, clean up our edges. And now we have a nice smooth surface to start laying down film. Got these four molds wrapped in some 3M gloss vinyl wrap. Next step is to apply a mold release wax. So we're gonna do a few coats of this here mold wax release. It helps the fiberglass pop off and not pull our molds apart, which we don't wanna do that because we're actually able to use these molds in the future if somebody else wants a wide body kit for their square body. We're using this protective floor covering and I just kind of scribed out a rough idea of, of the three sections that we're gonna cut them into. And we're gonna cut these out, lay them back on our mold, make sure everything's jiving. Then we'll transfer these paper templates onto the fiberglass and we'll start cutting all that out. We got our overall shapes laid out here. Three pieces of fabric at the one and a half ounce and two layers of the three quarter ounce. We're gonna mix up our resin. We're only gonna do a quarter at a time because it activates in like 15 minutes. So you don't have all that much time to play with it. What I do is I mark where I'm filling with a black Sharpie. It's easier to see from the inside. Instead of trying to pour it with your hole at the bottom like a normal person would do, you flip it over so that the hole is on the top as you're pouring. And what that does is it doesn't create a bubble. It doesn't slop into there and then bounce back and splash all over the place. Another little, little insider trick is you're gonna double glove. No glove, no love. Your hands get sweaty and it gets hard to put gloves on. So if you keep one glove always at the bottom and you just keep applying a second glove, you're home free. It's tricks of the trade. What we're gonna do is brush it onto the mold and then we stick our first layer down. Just bat the resin material into the fiberglass until it basically becomes translucent. If you get like bubbles like that, just go like this with your brush, kind of just wiggle it around. It loosens up the fibers, works it all in there. The 
the overall support that we're getting is amazing. You know, there are some people out there that don't like the project. You know, whether it's you don't like electric, a lot of people are pissed off that we cut out the fenders. They're talking about, oh, we ruined an American classic. I mean, guys, this is a 85 square body. I hate to say it, but they're pretty much a dime a dozen. This is a classic. This is a twin turbo LS 65 step side long bed aired out. Not everything we do is electric. Not everything we do is wide body. Matter of fact, this is the first for us. So we really appreciate all you guys out there for watching, for your comments, even the negative ones. You know, we're trying not to let it get to our hearts and hurt our feelings, but you know, we're sensitive too. Fender flares cured overnight. They're looking real good. And we'll get these things popped off. Pretty excited. The body kit is finally popped. All four quarter panels are looking pretty shiny, actually. We got a full body kit to play with. We're going to end up trimming these things in, getting rid of all this little fray on the edges. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and start mating them up to the truck, measuring them out, making sure that the wheel wells are nice and centered. And what we're gonna be basing this on is the center line of our hub. Pretty much it's gonna come up right from here, right up, give ourselves a nice center line measure the width there i'm pretty confident tyler has given us some really good quarters that are going to match up right to this body seam but it looks like in the front here we're gonna have to cut a lot more out yeah, this little scallop action that's going on right here is pretty deep so we're gonna have to cut that away give it some clearance so we can fit the fronts but for now we're just going to focus our attention on the rears and getting them on the truck first So obviously it needs a lot of body work guys, but it's pretty much there. Five inch flare on the rear. They got nothing up front and all business in the back. It's like a mullet truck. We got a little duct work. So the tire's gonna come way out level here and all the tire smoke's just gonna come right out of this hole. This quarter's ready to go. All right, so bumper had to come back off and we had to cut a ton out of the front fender. Originally, we kind of guessed and figured how far this weird scoop would come. And this kind of is a reveal for the tire. There's like a big scallop, really cool, really aggressive look. I really wanted Tyler to build a body kit that kind of really centered around these Toyo R888s because they're probably one of the most aggressive tires that you can get. And they're probably one of the best tires you can get as far as racing goes. We really want to show off this tread pattern. It's a super aggressive tread pattern. So once it comes out right here, you're gonna see this nice scallop, the tire will be showing. The same will go for the front. So we cut away a ton of the front quarter panel. Hopefully that's enough. Cal, you wanna throw the front quarter up and see if it clears? Drum roll please, video Can guy. Show this, why are we filming this? I don't know. Wow, it's really wide. <laughs> why isn't it square? It's so disgusting. Why would you do this to a square body? Let our three heavy coats of high build filler dry overnight with our guide coats. Now these fenders are ready to come back and block. We're just getting all these surfaces very smooth and flat. It kind of shows you once you start sanding on it, your highs and your lows. So we got a couple of blocks here. We're gonna put our 80 grit sandpaper on.
I did a few rounds of uh, high build filler and some and some bondo work. Got some body work done. A lot of sanding. Yeah. They're ready to go. So now we got Raul here. Raul. Carbon restoration composites. Yeah. He is the carbon fiber guru. Look at this. He's got all carbon fiber. Carbon fiber looks kind of like fiberglass, right? But this is a little more complicated. It's very easy to. Bro, you see? Oh, look at that. You yeah. see? Yeah. You need to go very, very friendly, like your baby. That's why we called in Raul, because they're, us guys around here are not gentle with anything. No. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to take the carbon fiber and we're going to overlay it on our fiberglass quarter panels. In the future, we're going to be able to do full carbon fiber parts, but for right now, to make it to SEMA, we want to do this carbon fiber look, so we're going to overlay everything. They're just about ready to get this carbon fiber transferred onto that wide body panel. They've laid a sheet of plastic over the carbon fiber and this will give them a point to actually pick up the carbon fiber. So this makes sure that the weave for the carbon fiber stays nice and tight before they go and lay it on the wide body. They're also wiping a nice layer of the resin so that the carbon fiber has something to stick to. So it's not going on just the dry bondo. The rear wide body panel is done, all wrapped in carbon fiber and this resin's dry. They just pulled off the peel that they used to help cool out the carbon fiber and make it all smooth. This thing needs one more coat of resin to help fill in all those little holes, all the little dimples before we get the clear coat. And our clear coat is what's really gonna make the texture of the carbon fiber, all that weave really pop to get that look that you think of when you actually go and you're doing carbon fiber parts. They're gonna move on to the front panels which are gonna be a little bit trickier. The way they laid it down, you can't tell any sort of difference between the weave going around these contours, even these more difficult, sort of more aggressive contours. Nothing's stretched, nothing's pulled. All the weaves still as tight as on these flat spots, which is exactly why we brought in these guys to help us lay this carbon fiber down. So the guys should be done laying down the carbon fiber on these panels. And Tim, where'd our panels go? What panels? The ones that are laying the carbon fiber down on. Hey, Tim. All right, let's go. Where? Wherever they took them, Tim. I don't know. You let them go. We were going to Raul's because our shop is too dirty. He was complaining about the drive. We just showed up to our carbon fiber guy's shop. Apparently, he forgot to take off the previous owner's sign. You know, it's top secret. It's top secret. Hey, my friend. Hey. There he is. Hey, welcome. We made our way over to CRC to show you the carbon fiber parts that we started at S2S. These are the matte finished carbon front fenders. Look how sweet these things came out, man. They look awesome. So they're still working on the rear quarters, getting those all set, but we still wanted to show you guys the carbon fiber quarters in their nice form. I'll put the link below, guys, if you're in Florida, you want some carbon work, or you can ship your carbon fiber parts to him, and he is the carbon fiber guru. Unfortunately, this is where we have to stop with the wide body kit. You're gonna have to wait till SEMA to see this bad boy in its full form.
but we still wanted to show you something. So next episode, we're gonna be doing our APR carbon fiber wing on the back of our wide body EVC10. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing. We'll see you guys later.